In terms of action and variety, today should have it all. We've not only got, of course, the six to five games that we usually have. I think I've been going for five lately. We're going to try and step that back up to six. We have deadline day. And we have a Premier League team in the cup. In the furthest we've actually got in the Carabao. Watch this space. How are we going to run away with it? That's a bit optimistic of me saying, but welcome back people to episode number three now of season number five here on this Grimsby Town to Glory. I'm going very crooked. I'm actually going to take a drink from the M slash Grimsby Cup. Very nice. As if you haven't seen any of the previous episodes before we get into this one, make sure you have watched the previous two because you'll get caught up with a couple of games which... <clears throat> Nothing really special happening, I've got to say. But still, worth a watch. Transfers. Uh, Action-packed games, but results-wise, nothing to blow us out of the water with. As spoiler alerts, of course, if you um, are thankful that I've just spoiled it, make sure you subscribe as well. We're on the race to 8.3 thousand. See how much we can hit before the new year. That is just a random objective that we're going to set. As we have only lost one game this season, which is decent. Conceded five goals, only scored seven, which is a little bit concerning since we have signed a marquee striker. But today we can sign even further. Bang in the middle of the table with a deadline day to go. As I've built the team for the next game, we've got 11 million in the bank. That is absolutely phenomenal. As I'm going to show you the calendar as well, because I did mention that Premier League team. As you can see, that's the previous month. We have Sheffield Wednesday to start off with. Coventry, Sheffield United... Preston, Brighton, but in the middle of that, we have Southampton. I don't know if we actually get all six done today due to deadline day, but I'm going to strive for it. I think I'm going to play Brighton, Southampton, and Sheffield United out of them games. Not going to be an easy day, so we're going to get straight into this one. Deadline day is here, as our team currently does look like this. What a screamer it was, by the way, in the last episode from Reggie Stone in the Bristol City game. Didn't give it enough credit. As it's looking very decent at the moment. The lowest rated around the squad is in fact John McAtee. And of course the backup goalkeeper. But I like them being low rated so they know the place. No offence to him. As uh, McAtee, I do want to of course get into this team and integrate. As we've got one position. Not one position but a literal one reserve spot that I want to kind of fill. Not one position in particular I want to sign in. So I think maybe we just go for a quality player if they become available. As I think maybe, due to the players who've loaned out like Harry and Co, central midfield could be the option if we don't play a youth player there, of course, as I be the wanting Jasper Moon. I'm still going to reject that one. Unless he wants to leave, I do want to keep him here as an original. We're getting players around him loaned out, so he's kind of still got his position in the squad. As we're going to keep on simming up, I don't really see any... Marquee signings going through. No, we're Okafor getting his chance at Roma. Haven't really paid attention to the higher league transfers. As I think potentially we might just go in for one player. And I think it might be this guy. 31-year-old Dominic Ball. Experienced player. I think he might have been at QPR in the championship. But I definitely know he's been at Ipswich latest. He's one of them tough, gritty, hard tacklers. Like, I hate to say this because he's a good player in real life. But a better Bryn Morris. So... I don't think he's going to get the most game time in the world. I'm hoping he takes rotational because Moa, Dele Bashiru and Eccles will be the front three midfielders in terms of racing into the squad. So hopefully he steps as like a backup. He does want important. I'll give him it, but he's got to accept that he probably won't get the game time. If he wants to leave, once like Harry comes back improved or a youngster comes through, then he can do as I just want to get this wage sorted out. Though I do want him... Taking a slight lowly, lower one, should I say. Uh, 80k plus 7.7, .7, I think is reasonable. He wants an appearance fee, which we will pay, because I don't see him really reaching it, to be fair. Dominic Ball, like that, through the door. Yes, another free signing, but one, I think that will go into the squad straight away and be around it. Or not go into the squad, but help it, in a way. He can play in defence, if really needed to, I think. Solid addition. And like Eccles, I think he could play in the defence as well as now. Now it's a risky five hours. 
It's about avoiding transfer requests for our biggest players. As Alex Scott's got his move to Arsenal, I thought he was brilliant when we played him. A Celtic one for Sayo Deli Bashiru. That's a difficult one to turn down, you know, for the Nigerian. He's played brilliantly. He's on a low wage. Mm, I might have to just accept it, you know. I'm just going to have to accept it. I can't negotiate with Celtic. If a player wants to leave to a higher club, no offence to ourselves, but we're not at Celtic's level at all at the moment. So it looks like Fasayo might be leaving the club and it's gone through. He goes to Celtic. That is a horrible transfer that I did not want going through at all, but it has done. I cannot be turning down big clubs when they come in for the players. Fasayo, good luck to you. Straight after that as well, an offer for Liam Cox from Clermont. Now that's more like it, one we can actually turn down because I want to keep him here. His potential's going up despite me not thinking he's playing the best at the moment, which of course is my opinion. He can still get in the squad. We've got a decent size one. We've got the three reserve pages, like I said. Oh no, actually we don't because of that transfer for Delhi Bashiru, but it jumps uh, ball straight onto the bench. Youngsters are a bit closer. It's a good job we signed him right now, isn't it? And he wasn't snapped up from elsewhere. Yes, potentially a downgrade in rating, but... Gets Eccles into the team with Moa, so it isn't really too bad, I would say. Both a left footer and a right footer in the team now. Job's a good one. Bit more money made, as we still don't have a central midfielder really coming through the academy. We haven't really had one at all. It's always attacking midfielders, wing-backs and centre-backs at the moment. And sometimes the odd striker is. We're going to get straight into today now as well, after deadline day. Sheffield Wednesday is the first game up, as I'll think about it, John. Severco... Uh, I've already thought about it, I'll say, which, to be fair, I don't know if he does come into the team. I don't know if both of them do, because I do want to play Jamie Lindsay at the back, because it's all sopping goal. Bree, Godwin, Lindsay, Scales, and Gleno with the armband. And Moa and Eccles now in the midfield, of course, with Reggie Stone in front of them. Victor Gioqueres has to stay in, with Liam Cullen grasping the opportunity at the moment, as Saidi and Cox are on the bench. I'm actually going to lift Pollock onto the bench as well, recovering from injury. Severco drops all the way out. It's going to be a tough task to get in as a central defender now. But of course, with the cup form, we're getting to play them a little bit in the cup. So we do need a win here. Don't want to get a second defeat as we do get the win. And I tell you what, it is the Liam Cullen show at the moment. Gioqueras has come in. But Liam Cullen is playing perfectly. A goal just after the break and just before the end. Max, a good day against the Owls. Perfectly done as John McAtee. Keep working on your game, mate. And Marin Severco, I'm doing what's best for you at the moment. My friend, I don't think you would have got in the team right there. As where are we? Eighth. Not bad. Stepping up now. As Coventry, however, are next. I am going to rotate. Although he played well, Cullen will come out. And Pollock is going to go in for Lindsay as well. So two like flight changes. Even better rating-wise. See how that does. It's good that we've got this squad full of quality, I would say, at the moment. I mean, what more? One of us good impact players in the team last year. He isn't really getting a look in at the moment. Coventry on the same amount of points as us. Away at the Rico. What is it going to be in this tight one? We get the win again. And look at that. The change we made. Getting us the win. Godwin with the first goal. Tavares, James Bree, Matty Pollock back at town with a bang. Looked sure to be the winner as Tavares put a scare in us, but we do get a brilliant three points in a second simulation. And I'd love to be a fly on the wall in the um, Coventry dressing room when Gioqueres returns to them, as we've got scout reports. Do want to get some decent central midfielder through somehow. Might have to just set myself on finding one as we've got the green thumb up, which is brilliant. Ninth in the league, absolutely fantastic. And, of course, some scout reports on goalkeepers that I was looking at previous. As we get into the games, we actually get to play here, and I am very excited for them. Scout reports still coming through as the first one is... I don't know if it's at Bramall Lane or not, but it's going to be a tight one. Nevertheless, big game. Huge uh, week right here with Sheffield United at home, actually, but still above us, so we will play them. Then we've got Southampton in the cup, and then we have Preston, who are always high-flying this save, I think. As I think I'm going to go with the same team as well. I can change it up for the cup. Although it's a Premier League team in the cup, I will change it up in that. So we'll go with the same team that's won 
I'd say two in a row. It were a different team the first game, wasn't it? But it won away at Coventry. It got the three goals, which I'm looking for. Goals now, because goals reap rewards. And hopefully it happens in the first played game here at New Blundell Park against Chef United. So here we go. How is it going to be against these? It's always a tight game, which I love. As Ivanov up front, Antoine Hackford and Dice sitting behind with Koulibaly and Arblaster in the midfield. Ben Osborne, Jack O'Connell, Admen Hozik, 80 rated. I watched this guy on the highlights, by the way. What a central defender he is. Uh, Kyron Gordon, Jaden Bogle and Ivan Nestesic in goal. Might have been Navistic. I don't know how you say it. I can't speak. I cannot speak England or English, should I say. Oh dear, let's just get going with this game, shall we? As James Bree to run across the middle of the park. He gets a pass straight into Alex Mowat. Now out wide into Gleno. Need to start on the front foot here. And Saidi, how's he going to do in his first start in game for me? Not a great pass into Gioqueres. Or was it bad control? There's one bad thing I'd like to talk about as well. It's not too bad, but it is not concerning me. But it's getting on my nerves a bit. I haven't seen Reggie Stone's rating go up at all lately. He stayed at 74 for like half a season, which isn't too good. I know he suffers injuries, but still not great as that's got to be a yellow card. There's absolutely no question about that. Came in flying with the challenge, Koulibaly, as he goes into the book, passing to Mowat right here, onto Reggie Stone, Saidi's through, but it's a good read from Gordon, one thing I admire about Sheffield United's team, they've got a flurry of youth through it, which of course is never a bad thing, and I do want to implement that into my game a little bit, get some youth players starting in actual games with a full squad around them, because usually when youth play, they play together with me, as Gioqueres on the ball, into Saidi, Gets the ball out wide into James Bree. Now we'll get that ball straight through into Gioqueras. Around the corner. Here is Saidi trying to get his shot off. A good last-ditch tackle. Brilliant last-ditch tackle. As that's Admin Hozik for you. As we're just going to put the pressure on them. Almost half an hour in. Decent start right here. As we've course this season. I want to chase the playoffs. I really do. Maybe unrealistic for the second season in the championship. But I think the team we've built is good enough for a challenge. As they're going to get a switch across right there. And that is horrific. As Ryan Alsop to pass it out straight away. And hang on. I aimed that right fully. As we've lost the ball here as well from Ryan Alsop's mistake. But a good tackle from our central defender to redeem himself a little bit. We'll get running forward with Eccles in the middle of the park. Across reaching side E. But unfortunately doesn't fully reach him. As that's a pass straight past Godwin. Trying to get back defensively and read it. But we don't. They've slipped past us. And also with the save, can we save it again? We do. Good work right there. There's five minutes really to go in this one. Reggie Stone to pick up the ball and put it down this line straight into James Bree. Is there an option to whip this in? Side ease at the back post. It's a good ball towards him. Doesn't fully reach him as that's just headed past Reggie Stone. We'll win that header, but we don't win it fully. Can we jump on it? No. Gioqueres does, however, but can't get the pass around. Looks like a battle of Blundell Park right here, as it is a fair nil-nil result at halftime. And to be fair, an entertaining one. I'm enjoying this challenge. Hoping the lads can relish it a little bit more, but I tell you what, it's fun. It's a good game, as Antoine Hackford on the ball right here. A pass around the corner into Ivanov. As he's going to get it out wide as well. So we've got to shuffle across and try and get a tackle in. We don't there. A pass through the middle. Another pass on to Antoine Hackford. Who we do not want scoring against us at all. The Loney had a decent spell with the Mariners here of course. But not too cracking of course. We did just avoid relegation in League 2. As this is a brilliant run. And Gioqueras is in the middle. That's a ball from Galeno. Who was there in that rot. But he's made his position his own as we're trying a shot. And Nevis stick with a catch. As a ball through right here in the middle of the park. And whoa, what a challenge that is. Matty Pollock. Brilliant stuff as Cox is going to come on. It's even a goal kick. That is a fantastic challenge. Really, really is. As Neil to come on for Kyron Gordon for them. That was a poor header from Eccles. But it does land at the feet of James Bree to run this forward. Passes a good one through the field. But still we've managed to lose it. 20 minutes left on the clock. Hoping Coxie can have an impact. Of course, we should rotate a bit more with the um, Saints game next. To be fair, as a shot from range. And also just to smother it. Is our team's mind set on the Premier League game? It possibly can be. I keep calling it Premier League. It's not. It's the FA Cup. Just a Premier League outfit. As a pass straight through the middle. We're not there there. Of uh, not there yet, should I say, of course. As a good interception straight onto Alex Moore. 
As now Josh Eccles to pass that round the corner. That's a good one into Victor Giocera. As a run down the line is a good one from James Bree. In the middle, Reggie Stone cuts out, goes for it. Poor, really. Say it was an entertaining first half. It's been a poor second. It really has. No team really threatening us. They might get a last chance here, though. Five minutes left on the clock and a run from Ndai, but Liam Scales gets a tackle. I've put, like, four subs through, but I can't get any of them through because the ball's not leaving the pitch. It's just one of them where it's always in, but just back and forth. As Scales running forward really well through the defence right here. On to Coxie. Who has that bit of acceleration? We'll get the pass off into Reggie Stone, however. Gokera is still on the field despite trying to get him subbed off. As that's a run through the middle, and what's he doing? Victor Gokera is the main man it fell to. And how he messed that up. It's going to be a nil nil with Sheffield United. The Blades fight for a point. And I tell you what, should have been more at the end. Fair reflection of the majority of the game, but I wanted more. I wanted more as also another thing I found out about when we played Wigan. I want to show you this. I know Wigan fans have been through some turbulence, you can say, in previous seasons in real life. But I'm sorry, they're in League 2 and they're not even top of League 2. The fourth, yes, unbeaten, but League 2 from the Championship. You don't usually see two t a team drop down two leagues within five seasons in a career mode. That's not great. Adds a bit of realism, showing a team can fall from grace, but... Ooh, I won't want to be them. As this is a team I think we're going to go with. And one youngster starts in this cup. I've tried to keep it kinder to the main team, even though it is a midweek competition. Because I want to go for it. As it's Pritchard that actually starts. He goes in at right wing back. Lindsay in the defence. Coyle at left uh, wing back. Because his wing backs were very tired after the last game. Cullen comes in up front. Same midfield. Same central defenders. Goalkeeper. La di da, Giocera's in the team, we need that striking threat, although we've wasted that chance, as this is going to be a huge game. Southampton, it's going to be a very good one, I hope. A perfect night, under the lights at new BP, as this is going to be a good one. I think it's Liam Delap, maybe that line, uh, leading the line. I want to see this team. Let's see who we are, actually shows in the Carabao Cup still as Mateus Liz, I'd rather not see their ratings. Alex Pozzo, Kevin Akpaguma moving over from Hoffenheim, Carlos Cuesta, Anthony Robertson from Fulham, uh, Matazzo and Caicedo sitting in the middle of the park from rivals Brighton, Chalk and Nathan Tellers returned, Smallbone is the captain and I was correct, it is Liam Delap up front, good player. As for a big occasion, it is a little bit of a kit clash I'd say, both kits having black, white and red on them which is... A little bit confusing to say I'm blind as a bat already as Liam Lindsay getting one of his first starts as well. Seeing how he can be as here is Josh Eccles. Got to control possession in this one and hope maybe to snatch an early goal as it's round the corner into Liam Cullen off the crossbar. What an early chance to take a lead. Huge chance against Ralph Hatton Hootel's men of course got sacked in real life. I think any uh, team to get him as a manager would be doing very, very well. If I was like a struggling team, I'd be off for him straight away. As that's a header from Giocares and not a bad one. Off the line again. We're taking the game to the Saints as Reggie Stone gets the 10th minute goal to actually put us in the lead against Southampton. We are beating the Premier League outfit. Hassan Hootl's got it wrong so far, putting them under the cosh from the off. 1-0. We want this cup run. It's a brilliant save. A header away. Fell to Liam Cullen winning the header beautifully as it's a swivel from Reg. And he just gets a touch with his left and a bang with his right at the near post. Fantastic start to this game as a pass for Wesleyan Scale. Whoa, Alsop. I don't know why he really came for that. Just stay at home a little bit. It's a Premier League team. Be a bit conservative in how we defend in all areas as now... Uh, Pritchard's got to try and come across as they're getting a little bit of a run on Smallbone with the shot. Falls to Lindsay. He seems a bit of a calm head in this team. Of course, from Rotherham, I'm pretty sure. I keep saying that, but I don't know. I'll have to look it up. As that's a pass into Victor Gioqueres. There's a ball through onto Reggie Stone as he does receive it. Pritchard on the lap around as that's a cross through everyone. And Coyle can't keep it. That was not a bad move at all as we'll get that pass through the middle. There we go. Into Liam Cullen. Back out wide into Liam Coyle now. And that's a ball towards Giocares. Just can't win that header. But we do with Cullen. He's having a brilliant game. Fizzed 
straight into Reggie Stone back. Now looking for Eccles. Who wins the header as well? Dreamland. Absolute dreamland here in the Carabao Cup. Two to Grimsby. None to the Saints. This is a performance and a half after the disappointing draw against the Blades. This is what we want to be doing next season. Premier League teams demolishing them in his own backyard as that is a brilliant header. Get in there as Louis Coyle tried to get that pass across. It doesn't work, but we've still got it. And now into Josh Eccles. Tackle comes in on him. Go into the book. That's a bad challenge. Don't think it's a red. No, yellow for Anthony Robertson. As we'll try and get that pass into scales. Doesn't work. But look at Lindsay. He's got to be man of the match so far. I know it's only... 37 minutes in, and of course Southampton have a half-time team talk to go, but if we could make it through, it'd be beautiful. Eccles again! Shot on the angle. The Saints are under the cosh. They've not really threatened us at all. Keep knocking on their door. The run through the middle is met by Liam Delap's shot, but also just to catch that one again. As we'll try and play it out quickly. I think the whistle will go, and it will. But a brilliant first half. Potentially one of the best in this save. Midweek. In the dark, at Blundell Park, winning against a Prem team in the Cup. Can you ask for any more? I don't think he can really, can you? As we'll try and put a challenge in, we don't get that challenge in. In fact, we'll have to chase them around a little bit as there's a ball out wide. Now into the middle, that's a ball across Josh Eccles. Trying to read it, but unfortunately cannot. Pass straight for the middle, tackled by Liam Lindsay. The ball still falling back to them all the time. Oh dear. Oh dear, game on straight away. Liam Delap fell to him nicely. That's just not the start we wanted to this second half. Clean sheet gone, early goal. Nathan Teller with a tackle on Matty Pollock, I'm pretty sure it is. And just drilled into the near post. And almost an hour on the clock right here. Um, Teller's making the move to the Geordies. That's a good move for now, the richest club, of course, in the world. As we got that pass off, actually, a good pass into Liam Cullen. Trying to twist and turn down the line to Coyle. If we could relieve this pressure, would be perfect. Coyle's cross just met by the head of Matzo. As we're going to keep this ball anyway into Eccles, who likes a curler for his second of the game. Just over. And we've made a change. Who's coming on is uh, Dominic Ball, our new number 22. Trying to fix that gap of Brim Morris slash Deli Bashir. was a ball through there. Need to be a bit more savvy defensively. Can we get the tackle in Pritchard? That is perfect. But Ball's just slipped on it straight away. On the ball as a pass through. And the new signing has made the Saints get level. We're going to put McAtee on. We're going to have to throw something new at it. We don't want a replay. I don't think it can go to a replay in the Carabao. But they've all square. Well, leveled it up, should I say. Not great defensively from us. Just a pass across. A pass in the middle. One more on. Leads to a goal. Not too happy with it. But hey, what can you do? As Pritchard's trying to run down the line a little bit here. He cuts inside. Into Dominic Ball. Cullen is in behind. And here is Liam Cullen on a bit of a run. Oh, and what a save from the keeper that is. I thought it was still going in. Okay, that's livened us up a little bit. Once we go level, we start playing again. As we almost got that header with Liam Cullen again. We probably need to change a striker around just for some fitness. I'm going to opt for Coxie just to get that pace going. I mean, Duncan Watmore is an impact player. And I put him on the bench thinking he'd get on. But sorry, mate, I don't think he will. As McAtee holding his man off gives it into ball here. He actually manages to keep the ball and give it out to Pritchard with a decent cross looking for Cullen. Can he do something before he goes off? That's the question. As it's looking towards the end of the game now. I think it might be extra time. Which I don't really want for us players fitnesses. Because of course we are playing as, as main squad really. And I don't want to lose the game. Especially as Delap trying to get away from us. It's a bit of a nervy ending right here. The ball goes through to him. Scales needs to try and get rid of this. He does over the top to Louis Coyle. But we've still lost out on it. A run around the corner from Will Smallbone. Reaching his potential into Delap. What a save from Allsop. What a save. Still the corner is to come in. We've got to make sure we can read this. He needs to get off his line a little bit. Don't let them win the header. It's away from Dominic Ball. The best thing he's done this game. Ball goes out of play and that is the end. Is it extra time or straight to Penos? I don't know what it is. It's penalty straight away. Of course, as always, not going to jinx it. Keep the same penalty takers. Can we get a good cup set? Gioqueres. He don't miss. 
He don't miss. Ward Prowse usually doesn't anyway. I'm going to dive right and also will save it. Not getting ahead of myself. As Alex Mo, I'm going to try and follow suit. Go to that bottom corner. He does. Advantage Town. Casiedo, 92 finishing. Going to go to the left in Casiedo to put that in very nicely. John McAtee, not the best penalty taker. He's going to go left and he's going to have his penalty saved. As their captain to take this, Will Smallbone. And he gives it the all square as that's not a great penalty really from... McAtee, is it? Cox to go the same way to the left and... Oh, what a peno! What a penalty. Delap, their main man. Down the middle. No! Alsop with a superb save to take it down to Captain Coyle. I'm going to try and go bottom left. Is it a cup set? Not for now. It's just denied us. Still, we can save this to win. Pozzo! And Alsop saves it! It's a classic at Blundell Park! Ryan Orsop's the hero. We go through to the fourth round. We beat Southampton at home on penalties under the lights. That is worth staying up for till about quarter past ten here at Blundell Park midweek. Forget about work the next day. We've got work in the fourth round. Get in there. We deserved that. We didn't deserve to draw the game overall. We deserved to get the win. Cannot wait for the next round now. I don't think it will be today. As match rescheduled. Let's see who it's against though. Because I just can't wait. I can't wait. Who's it going to be? I don't mind who it is. Crystal Palace. Another Premier League team. Not one of the big boys. But again. Experience against a Prem outfit. Fourth round. It's getting exciting. As Preston are up next. I'm going to change the team. I am going to be simulating this one. Despite them being above. I feel like Brighton's going to be a bit more of a challenging fixture. So we can change his wing backs again. And I don't know if Lindsay actually comes out because he had one of the best performances I've seen from anyone in a town shirt as the captain as well at the right hand side. Perfect. So I'm going to keep him there even though he's left footed. Eighth in the league. We're not doing too bad on this playoff chase against Preston, a very decent team. And it looks like the cup game did take it out of us. Of course we get the good cup game and then this. Seahus, I don't know how you say that, with two. Ryan Ledston with one and Coxie with that consolation. As Brighton is a game I'm excited about now to try and get us back on track. They are a Premier League outfit as well. Just suffering in the championship as we drop to 11th. 4-4-2 in terms of results. Only a second defeat we took of the season, not great. Still not suffering too much as the team is though. The team definitely is on fitness. Going to have to change it up a little bit. Side D. I'm going to take Dunk off the bench. And I'm going to start side D actually. Didn't do too bad against the Blades. Just not got his luck. As I'm going to change that defence around a little bit after of course getting the goals conceded. Lindsay comes straight out. Funny but he has to. And I'm going to put Matty Pollock on the bench I think. I can't really rest him. Scales is the main man at the moment. As we've got Severco in the middle. And we've got a man on the other side. We, we haven't really got a five star weak foot defender apart from... Tommy Shepard, but he's not really favoured at the moment. Of course, he's still in contention, as that is the team. I want to give Gleno the armband, not Moat. Moat just goes missing a couple of times in games as well. I do like him, but he doesn't put everything in. He's not one you recognise in the midfield. And it's away at the Amex, so it's not going to be an easy game, this one. Definitely not, as Van Zier up front. I tried to get him on loan in season number one. Gerard Moreno, what a signing in the Championship. Undav, Azaria and Morrow. He looks decent with no face. With Linger in the midfield, he looks even better. With uh, NCO, who was lonely as well, who I tried to get in League One. Mateus Reese from Sporting, very good. Simakan, 85 rated in the Championship. Are you having me on? As Tsongyu and Kjell Sherpa. I'm sorry, look at the bench as well. I've got to say this before we jump into the game. Tyreek Lamptey. Papa Gay, Odson Edward, Seema, and Fabio Silva. I mean, we've got lucky with the squad they've put out. Very lucky as the match is underway. How's this going to go for us right here? I'm hoping for a better result in this sixth and final game of today. As Saidi gets the ball through. Giocera is a former club of his, of course. I think he came through the academy at Brighton. I'm pretty sure. I say pretty sure a lot, but... That's just when I think something, of course. Maybe wrong. Feel free to prove me wrong in the comments. As I think he was put in the academy, but maybe not brought up there because he is a Swede. So probably brought up over in the Swedish leagues. As Elke Struna, one of the teams I do like to follow a little bit in Sweden because one of his ex-managers were there. 
Don't even like the ex-manager as well as we've still got the ball here. That's good work from Gyokeris to shrug his man off, tried to get the pass through to Reggie. Reggie, of course, was running through a little bit there as Eccles gets the ball here. Reggie Stone again. He's going to put it down the line onto Gleno. Can we try and whip a ball into the man at the back stick? We do. Eccles with a dodgy chest but still gets his shot off. Defender on the line to try and block that one as Moat with that header into Eccles. Eccles is going to try and put that around the corner as he does, but not worked. Still keeping the ball, however, here as the player 1 2. And now we'll go through the middle straight onto Victor Gyokeras trying to get his shot off. Unfortunate doesn't go through to him as they've still got the ball, however. That's around the corner. Godwin. We're going to give chase to him. Just still can't get the ball in as that's across the box. That's done again, but we've still lost it. Still can't get the ball back off of them. Pass through. Save from Allsop. Good work from him as still we need to get this ball back. There we go. Into Josh Eccles now. As Eccles is going to get a run down. He's going to keep on going and shrug his man off. He's going to wait for the run through the middle of Victor Gyokeres as well. Who's going to receive this ball. And he's going to put it out wide here onto Bree. This is a brilliant move. Saidi in the middle. It goes over his head into Reggie Stone. What a save from the goalkeeper. Kajir. I'm sorry, that was a given goal. As Simakan, the defender, actually going off the Frenchman. He got injured in that move, so all the best to him. Hope it's not a serious one, as Undav with the ball through the middle goes for a pass straight back, which is a good one. On to NC So, as we do get a tackling right there, that's a good one. Gleno to run inside, cuts his pace a little bit there and tries to get inside of him, but half time whistle goes. Nil nil! Light the blades, a good game, but we should be in front. To make any changes as well, we're going to just keep on going. So, see if we can actually get that slice of luck that we didn't get against the blades in this one. Of course, teams do come out of the shell a little bit in the second half against us. However, we saw that with the Saints. We saw that with the blades a bit. They had a bit more attacking intent, but we still should have won the game. As that's a horrific pass through the middle. And we've lost it onto Kaiseido when a shot comes in and that's it. That's what I'm just saying. We've conceded straight away. It's Gerard Moreno. A player who, quite frankly, should not be playing at this level. Gets a goal at this level. And I'm guessing it's not his first. At the near post. Brighton take a lead. It is not plain sailing this season. Despite the signings, it is not really going his way. In this one, as Godwin to keep hold of this ball a little bit. Eccles. Tried to shuffle to the side a little bit. We've lost the ball through the middle. That's a good pass now onto Undav, who gets it across. Brighton wanting to play football now. We can't really keep up with them. Ball around the corner, and Godwin just reads it before the big swing comes in. Let's get out of this half a little bit, boys. Come on. Grab a foothold in this game a bit more, as Bree does very well. But again, Cassiedo in the middle, or Caicedo, with a brilliant tackle. Pass through the middle, a good 1-2. It's a good 3-4, and it's a good save. Excellent football as McAtee for Reggie Stone. Reggie Stone's just not had a good game, so we might as well take him off, despite the rating. He's not really improving at the moment, which is dodgy from him, as that's a brilliant pass around the corner, and they've scuffed it. So I'm going to lump Dominic Ball on, because we need someone to steady this ship a little bit. It's not looking good at all, as... Here is Anthony Glennon to jog forward. Cuts back in the middle into Alex Moat. Steps away from his man. Can we put that through the middle? We do. Here is a man here trying to get it round. I think it was McAtee. Or it might have been Don Ball as they've got to run on now. Got to get back and defend this one. Still not got the ball. It's just deflected off of us a little bit. Godwin, that's around the corner. It's into the middle. It's two. It is just dreamland for them. It's not good football from us. It's not good football. It's just passed into the middle and it's kind of easy. Around the corner, just into that middle and Undav for two. Brighton choosing violence in this second half. They really have come out and made this game their own at home as well. There was disappointing in the first half as that's chance for three and also keeps it from being that. Oh, not good from us. I mean, we've just got to try and improve somehow. Cox to come on for side E, making a change. Is this marking his man at the near post? What's that about? Decision making, boys. Why are we having the smallest player mark their tallest at the near post who's trying to glance a header in? That's just not great, is it? Not logical, as that's a pass straight through onto Gyokeres, who looks shattered as well, as proven by the pass. He's not had a great homecoming as Marine Sverko through the middle of that park onto Coxie. Now it's out to Ball, who doesn't get that pass around the corner as well. Lost out on it as they'll run forward. Got a little bit of a tackle on the man, but still not won it. And a shot from range. 
Probably marks the end of the game. We've definitely lost it as we'll whack this upfield. See if we can win a header. See if us boys are still determined to try and do well. As we do with Gyokera. Straight down into Makati. Pass it alongside but the whistle goes. Just swept aside by the Seagulls. Not a great day on the... Northwest. North... East coast? No, is it east? No, it's the south coast. I can't do geography. As I definitely can't do games against Brighton, it seems. And that result's actually worse than I first expected because it has the potential to knock us into the bottom half of the table. Games in hand still to go across some of them teams. It's four wins, four draws, three defeats. Brighton are top of the league as well, which is understandable. We're still three points off the playoffs though, which is as rivals Hull City. Don't like that, so we've got to do something about it. It does Middlesbrough start us off next episode who are in them playoffs. Who else? Do we have the cup game next time out? We do. Crystal Palace. Cup run going. While still fighting for the playoffs, I'll take that. We're on two fronts this season. As Thank you guys for watching this episode right here. As always, don't forget to like, comment, share and subscribe with the notification bell on as well so you don't miss anything in the future. I'll see you same time tomorrow, of course. As Take care of yourselves, guys. In a bit. And peace.